Thank you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so hi, my name is Mikko Pella, um, Rovius uh, Group Creative Director. Um, in practice, that means that I, I, I look after our characters, uh, stories, IPs, you know, how do our Angry Birds behave and what kind of things we should um, do in the future. Um, um, I'm just coming out of a flight, so I feel a bit wobbly, bear with me. Um, maybe it was to the drinks. Uh, I don't know, um, and um, and I haven't seen the the previous presentations, so so um, I'm sorry if I I, I end up um, insulting someone. Hopefully not. Um, so so my point of view is is pretty much this: um, all the a lot of media, a lot of um, traditional media. Uh, and the games are, of course, moving rapidly towards this um, platform being like a touchscreen um, media. Uh, not, only, not only games, but magazines, TV, pretty much all of the internet is going towards that. Um, so what used to be a paper magazine or a TV set or a game console, it's really now just a small, small icon um, on on the tablet screen, and um, and that's actually that makes a big difference because this is the the app store reality for for all of us. Um, you have to be able to communicate your your brand and your product with with basically one very small single image and um, and the name of of your product, and there's there's a huge amount of different uh, entertainment products um, competing with you for, for your time and, and attention. And, and it's, it's very crowded and, and people have been smart enough to sort of think about that, hey, maybe, maybe you know, creating a character would make us stand out. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of characters. Um, and the ones that you probably recognize from here um, are, are not only mobile characters or not only gaming characters, but they are multi-platform, cross-media characters nowadays. Maybe they started from, from comic or, or movie or something, but, but they become cross-media concepts because that's the way to stand out from the crowd, to be known, to be big. Um, and when I hear um, pitches of, of cross-media projects of, or, or sometimes when, when people think about cross-media, I feel a bit like this. Um, so sometimes people start with, with defining, you know, we can do this and this and this and this and all these different parts connect, and that's that's you know the 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 big thing, and and my thinking is 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 quite the opposite that that you need to be really really simple, uh, high concept, easy to understand, in order to be able to create something for cross media, because different mediums. They have different kind of qualities. Uh, you, there's not much you can tell in, in, on a mobile screen. Uh, maybe maybe a movie or, or TV or animation is, is better for 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 uh, storytelling. But you always need the super simple, high concept idea in order to stand stand out and in order to be able to attract uh, crowds. So. So the Angry Birds, uh, obviously nowadays, is a is, um, cross-media thing, uh, cross-media brand. Uh, but it's been like that pretty much from, from day one. We, we published or released our first animation clip, cinematic trailer, only three months after the launch of the game. And today, uh, it's been viewed uh, a bit, bit more than 100 million times on, on YouTube. And, and that's really, 
in a very simple form. Actually, I, I'm going to show it um, you next. But it's showing the, the basic conflict um, of, the, of, of the whole uh, brand in, in, in very tight and in very tight form. So yeah, there's I'm sure there's animators in 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 here, and you see that you know it's not maybe the top-notch 3D uh, quality, but for some reason uh, it it you know it made people feel for the brand and um, and as well as the game, of course, the gaming experience. Uh, touch screens were new when Angry Birds were, was was launched. People felt that the gameplay really fit the touchscreen um, devices, and just the simple concept of these stupid green pigs stealing the eggs of the angry birds, and that's why the, the birds get angry. So where we are now uh, with, the, with Angry Birds brand is that we have more than 2.4 billion downloads for, for the game, uh, 27 million followers in, in Facebook, uh, a lot of Twitter uh, followers, YouTube views, um, and, and more than 3 billion views of our animation uh, channel, uh, Toons.tv. But to me, even more importantly than the, than the numbers, uh, people really invested emotions in, in the characters and, and the brand and, and started creating their own fan art and, and cakes and, and knitting different kinds of hats of, of Angry Birds. So they, so they, they sort of wanted to be involved with, with the characters and, and the brand. And, um, you know, they wanted to wear, wear clothes and, and, you know, it's pretty much exploded the whole, whole thing. And, um, and right now, uh, our brand recognition is, is globally around 91%, which is pretty amazing thinking about how young the brand is, only four years old. So um, where are we now? Um, last week we announced that we are going to cut uh, some jobs and, and focus. Um, we'll be focusing on, on games, on, on video and media, and, and consumer products. And what we've done is that we've, we've, we've defined our brand values that we want to stay the same with, with, with the brand. We want all our products to communicate the same values. And at the same time, Angry Birds is very much of, of, of pop culture, and in pop culture you need to evolve, so we have a plan how to evolve with, with the brand. Um, Angry Birds is, is an offbeat brand. We don't want to take ourselves too seriously. We want to be foolish uh, with the brand. We want to be imaginative, sort of push the art of, of entertainment. We've launched a game from space. We've taken over the Red Square uh, in Russia. 
maybe we couldn't do it anymore, I don't know. Um, and we sort of want to f create mashups. Um, we've done it with Star Wars and, and, and Transformers. Also, we want to be inclusive, so everybody's invited to the party. Uh, if you if you wanna if you wanna find the inner inner uh, foolishness in yourself, I think you you are your potential Angry Birds uh, fan. And we want to be a bit rebel rebellious, do things that that uh, traditional brands probably wouldn't do. So um, the success of of the brand has allowed us to do spin-off brands around Angry Birds, and Angry Birds Stella is is the the newest addition to the team, um, and and the central conflict and the central idea of of Stella is is a friendship gone bad. So, Bad Princess and Stella they used to be best friends. But Bad Princess gave herself to vanity and greed, and, and now they are now they are enemies. And 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 Bad Princess is is uh, he, she she has her pig's troops that that she commands. And and the other spin-off brand that we work with is called Bad Piggies, and Bad Piggies is all about optimism, building, never giving up, uh, being really goofy. And and I'll show you a clip of 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 Bad Piggies brand. I feel this project really finds the concept of casual game development. This is where ambition and innovation shake hands. is the perfect setting for a pioneering project like this. This is what I call the new green wave. What we're doing is creating a library of pig animations using motion capture. Every single pig movement that appears in every level of the game was created by motion capture actors moving in our studio. The most difficult part is to get the actors in the right state of mind so they can deliver on the important scenes. Of course, for me, every scene is an important scene. A neck first. The director said to me, life is not about how fast you run or how high you climb, it's how well you bounce. It's about optimism. Safety. Yeah. It's not in a pig's nature to question things. They are essentially creatures of action. Building an emotional connection between the gamer and our characters is our primary goal. That's why we use emotion capturing. Revolution? No. This is an era of innovation. So, <laughs> bad piggies never give up. Um, I mentioned um, the importance of evolving. Um, so, next I have an image of, of, of from the movie. So, this, this guy has been around for, for close to five years. And in 2016, we are releasing uh, Angry Birds the movie. And and here are the guys uh, in the movie. Um, Jason Sudeikis will play Red, um, and Peter Dinklage uh, from Game of Thrones will be the legendary Mighty Eagle. And, and this will be the new cornerstone for, for Angry Birds brand, and it will very much be in line with, with the brand values 
and, and it will take us to the next step in, in, in the entertainment industry. Um, and I've been talking about the sort of simplicity and, um, and emotional connection and the importance of, of, of making emotional connection with, with fans and, and with the audience. Um, and, and finally, I have a clip that I think pretty much uh, shows what can it be in, in when things go, go well. Hi, I'm Ben. And in just a couple of days, I'm going to propose to my girlfriend, Melissa. We've been together for about eight and a half years, and I don't think she ever thinks we're going to propose. I love Angry Birds. I'm obsessed to the point where Bella jokes about someday, somehow, Angry Birds will be involved in our wedding. And what Bella jokes about, I like to make it the reality. So a couple of months ago, I sent an email out to Angry Birds, to Rovio, and just said, hey, strange request, but I'd really love you guys to make me an iPad app. There are hidden cameras at the restaurant, so just, Bella has no idea what's going on. So, what can this do that? So simple, emotional, that's, we, that's what we want to be. Thank you.